Hello, we meet again in Form 5 KSSM Biology video, Chapter 11, Inheritance. The content standard for today's lesson is 11.1 Monohybrid Inheritance. The learning standard 11.1.2 differentiate terms that are related to inheritance. The first two terms that we are going to see now is characteristic and trait. What is characteristic? Characteristic is a heritable features, whereas trait is the variation of specific characteristic. Now, we look at the example. This plant. Okay. The characteristic of this plant is height. For example, I take height. So, the traits for height, for the characteristic of height, is either tall or short plant. Okay. Another plant, which is short. This is tall. So, characteristic that I choose for this plant is height. And the traits, it can either be tall or short. The next two terms are genes and alleles. What is genes? Genes is the basic unit of inheritance. Genes will control specific characteristics, whereas alleles is an alternative form of gene for a specific trait. Now we look at this example. All right. In this example, there are two chromosomes. Chromosome 1, which come from the mom, and chromosome 2, which come from the dad. Okay, in this chromosome, alright, where are the genes? Okay, if you see here, two chromosomes just now, I mentioned to you, there are three genes. Where, where are the genes? The genes are here. Okay, which is light color blue. Okay, this is one gene, which control one characteristic. Maybe the height of this person. And then, second gene will be, okay, with the capital B and small b, alright, another gene, which control another characteristic. Maybe the skin color of this person, right? And the last gene is this one, okay, which is capital G and capital G, which control another characteristic. Maybe the eye color of this person. What is alleles then? Okay, allele is the alternative form of a gene. So this is a gene. In this gene, there are one pair of allele. So we have small letter A, one allele, capital A, another allele for one gene. Okay, look at this one. This one is one gene. Okay, so you have two allele. Okay, which is capital B and small letter B. And another gene which consists of two allele, capital G and capital G. Next two terms are dominant allele and recessive allele. The definition for dominant allele is an allele which always show its trait when it present and it is always represented by capital letter. In genetics, we use alphabet. Right? For recessive allele, it is an allele which shows its trait only when both alleles, both recessive alleles are present. And these recessive alleles are represented by small letter. Now, let us see the example of the cats here. Okay, so you can see we use the alphabet B. So, capital letter B 
represent dominant allele. Okay, whereas small letter B represent recessive allele. The dominant allele will carry the trait of brown, whereas the recessive allele will carry the trait of grey. The characteristic here is the fur color of the cat. Okay, so for the first cat, okay, the gene for the first cat is capital B, capital B, meaning the allele are capital B and capital B. Both are dominant allele. So there is no confusion here. Right, definitely the fur color, what you can see eh, is the brown color. The second cat. The second cat, it has one dominant allele that is capital B and the other one is recessive allele, small letter B. When dominant allele and recessive allele comes together, okay, the dominant allele will overshadow the recessive allele. That is why we can see the trait of this cat is still brown fur color. Now look at the third cat. The third cat, the alleles it has for the uh, fur color, for the characteristic of fur color, it has small letter B and small letter B. No dominant allele present. So, the recessive allele will show its traits. That is grey colour fur. Next terms are phenotypes versus genotypes. Phenotypes. Okay, the definition is the observable traits of an organism. What we can see from outside. Whereas the genotypes is the genetic composition of an organism. We take the cat as an example again. Right? So, what is the observable trait of these cats? Okay, so we can see first cat, it has brown fur color and second cat also it has brown fur color. So, we can say that the phenotype of the first and the second cat is brown fur color. That is the phenotype. Whereas for the third cat, the phenotype is grey in color. So in terms of phenotypes, there are two. One is brown color fur, second one is grey color fur. What is genotype? Okay, for the fur color, it is controlled by one pair of allele or one gene. Okay, so the genotype is what is the genetic composition for that particular characteristic. Right, so for the first one, we look at the first cat. What is the genetic composition? Right, the genetic composition is capital B, capital B. So, the genotype for the first cat is capital B, capital B. The genotype for the second cat is capital B, small letter B. The genotype for the third cat is small letter B, small letter B. So, for the genotype of, of these three cats, there are three different genotypes. Phenotype just now, two different phenotypes. Homozygotes and heterozygotes are the next two terms that we are going to see now. Homozygotes refer to a pair of allele which are the same, whereas heterozygote refer to a pair of allele which are different. The same and different meaning capital or small letter. So now we go back to the example of the cat. The allele for the first cat is, the first one is capital B, capital B. So it is the same. So the first cat is homozygote. Okay, second cat. Capital B, small letter B. It is not the same. So the second cat, it is heterozygote. And the last cat, that is the third cat. Small letter B, small letter B. It is the same. So the third cat is homozygote. The last two terms that we are going to see today are dominant traits versus recessive traits. Dominant traits is a trait 
that is expressed when both alleles are dominant or one of the allele is dominant. Whereas recessive traits is the trait that is expressed only if a pair of recessive alleles are present. Okay, again, we look at the cat as the example and we are going to study again uh, the characteristic of the fur color. So we have two traits for the fur color that is brown and gray. So which one is the dominant trait? Okay, the dominant trait that has whether both uh, dominant alleles or one of them is dominant allele. So meaning, as we can see here, right, the first and the second cat has both dominant allele. This one has one dominant allele. So what is the dominant trait? Of course, brown fur color. So brown fur color is the dominant trait. What is the uh, recessive trait? The recessive trait is when the recessive, both recessive allele are present. So the trait is grey fur colour. We have come to the end of this video. If you want more of my video, click the subscribe button. See you again in my next video. Bye-bye.